Congratulations, you did it. You are so close to solving the Rubik's Cube. I hope these videos made learning the cube fun and interesting. As you've realized by now, my cube teaching method is unique and not found anywhere else in the world. It took quite a bit of time and effort to create these videos. While I was making these videos, I had to temporarily ignore my wife and four children. And this one has autism, so he's really hard to ignore. It would be great if you showed your support by doing these things. Like all my videos. Your like will encourage YouTube to suggest the videos to other people. Subscribe to the channel. If you've made it to step eight without subscribing, now is your chance. Simply click the subscribe button. It's totally free, but it's a huge impact to the success of this channel. Give a super thanks. Next to this video, there is a dollar sign inside of a heart. By clicking on that heart, you can donate to this channel. Join me on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash easiestsolve, you can become a patron. In return, I give you access to my videos with no commercials or any type of advertisements. And as a bonus, you get my Rubik's Cube cheat sheet for free. I'll even include your name in future videos that I make. Pause the video and consider doing one or more of these things before you move on. My family and I really appreciate it. Now let's fulfill your dream of finally solving a Rubik's Cube. Memorize this. Flip, clock one, clock two, clock three. Counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock counter. Don't proceed until you have this memorized. The pattern for the final move is right top. So just imagine that this pattern goes on forever. But the most important thing is that you remember the pattern starts on the right. All the moves for the three by three, the pattern starts on the right. All right, so let's solve the Rubik's Cube. First thing you do is look at the sides and try to find the most completed side. For instance, this one would be it. So we're gonna move it to the back. Turn that to the back like that and hold it like so. And then we're gonna do those moves. Now, just so you know, the reason for these numbered uh, moves like clock one, clock two, counter one, counter two, it's because I, for me, I was losing track of which one I was on. So it helps me keep track of which move because there's so many counters in a row and so many clocks in a row. Now for me, you don't have to do this, but for me, I'm really focusing on going the right direction, counter or clockwise. So I actually close my eyes during this step so I can focus on that. You don't have to. So let's just do those moves. So we're going to start on the right side, flip, clock one, clock two, Clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter. Okay, now we just take a look at what happened. Still not solved. And the blue is in the back there, and that's fine. So we're going to put it back the way we had it, and then we do it again. Flip, clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter. There we go, and then we solved it. So now you can take it back to the store and say that you never used it and get your money back. So once again, here's an example of what's the first thing we do. We look for the most completed side. And as I spin this around, you'll see that there is no most completed side. They're all the same. So which side do we pick? It doesn't matter. Just pick a random side and let's do the moves. Starting with the right flip clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one. Counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five, clock, counter. Let's see what happened. Now we have a most completed side, this blue side. We'll move the blue side to the back, and then we do the moves again. Flip, clock one, clock two, clock three, counter one, counter two, Counter three, 
counter four, counter five, clock, counter. And now it is solved. Once again, I wanna make sure you know how to solve this. So here's yet another example. What do we do first? We make sure that the most completed side is toward the back, but this one does not have a most completed side. It's all even. So we're going to pick a side at random. We're going to stop here and we'll do it like this. Only thing you have to remember is that the yellow side is up and we start on the right side. So let's do those moves. Flip. Clock one. Clock two. Clock three. Counter one. Counter two. Counter three. Counter four. Counter five. Clock. Counter. And then we have, let's see, just the red side. So the red side is the most completed side. We move it to the back. And then we do the moves again. Starting on the right side, flip. Clock one, clock two, clock three. Counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five. Clock, counter. Okay, let's check it out again. Notice once again, it did not solve, but it's okay. The cube did move around, and so it'll probably solve on this time. Let's see. Make sure the red side, the most complete side, is to the back, and let's try again. On the right side, we do a flip. Clock one, clock two, clock three. Counter one, counter two, counter three, counter four, counter five. Clock, counter. And there we go. This time it solved. Now you can solve the Rubik's Cube puzzle. That's pretty cool. But what about the puzzle of life? No matter how complex your problem, Jesus Christ can help you solve it. He suffered for our sins and died so we could live again. If you want to know more about Jesus Christ, check the link in the description. Stop the battle within your soul. Your heart just needs a fresh start